Hello, Marvelites! Welcome to a special episode of This Week in Marvel. I'm Ryan Panagos, a.k.a. Agent M. And I am Jamie Frevely, a.k.a. Stacks of Cards. I was going to call you Cardmaster. Cardmaster? I like that, too. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we got a whole bunch of cards from our sponsors at Upper Deck, and they were like, yo, you like Marvel. You know a couple things about Marvel. We did a whole friggin' set of cards about Marvel's 2017 comics. Check them out. See what you like. See if, you know what tickles your fancy. And uh, my fancy has been tickled a plenty because you get cards like Devil Dinosaur and so many more. We were opening up like two cases of these. So many packs. Uh, you can see them littered around the table. Yeah. And so it's cool to look at these. And then you flip them on the back. One of my favorite things about, you know, Marvel Comics trading cards are the attributes, the, the power levels. These are so cool. We have lots of those, so tons and tons. There's like 150 or 160 of these base cards. Tons of them showing off the cool characters who made an impact in Marvel Comics in 2017. But there's not just those. They also do e-cards, which is a neat thing is you can have your entire collection as an e-collection. Uh, and you go on their website, which is upperdeckepack.com, and you can open up a bunch of packs there. You have a collection. We got a top 10 card, which is uh, top 10 heroes, Hawkeye, Clint Barton. Oh, that's my boy. You'd love I you do. some Clint, yeah. Is his arm game like on in that shot? I, I, we, we moved past it, but we got good arms here on Punisher, right here with Steve Dillon art, uh, one of my favorite artists who passed away. That's my favorite bad mood boyfriend right there. Yeah. And then finally, out of this pack of five, we got a Ronin card as well, uh, wrapping up. So you get five cards out of this, and you know we have some of those cards in here, some of those cards will be in our e-collection. Uh, one of my favorite things about this too is if you are someone who is hardcore about collecting the physical cards, you can take your e-packs, your e-collection, and, and actually turn those into physical cards. You can go through the system with Upper Deck and have them sent to you, which I think is neat. It's awesome. We hope you guys check out this annual 2017 Marvel pack from Upper Deck. It is full of goodness and so much stuff. I mean, look at this table full of joy. So the next hour is gonna be me putting these in order. Oh, Thanks y'all for watching. I'm Ryan. And I'm Jamie. This is Marvel. Your universe.